Lucien, mon amoureux, est-ce que vous pouvez prendre la, la chaise à côté de moi? Non, non, j'ai quelques petites questions à vous poser. Euh, Allez-y tranquillement. Euh, Monsieur Lucien Lamoureux a commencé à, avec l'équipe Skidoo euh, en 1969. Il est allé jusqu'en 1973. Ensuite, en 1974, il a coursé euh, des motoneiges Snowjet. Euh, en 1960, ah, j'ai une petite collection. Allez-y, monsieur Lamoureux. J'ai essayé de courser, mais c'est un snowjet. Pas de commentaire. Uh, Brian, uh, I do, I'll translate that for you. He said, I tried to race snow jets in 1974, but it was a snow jet, meaning, mm. not, not sure. Uh, anyway. Um, en 1970, vous avez coursé ce que vous appelez des Beatles. C'était des Blizzards avec le, nom à, à, avec le nez allondi. Plus ou moins, c'était des Olympiques avec un châssis en aluminium et aussi un moteur fréère. Ensuite, en 1971, vous avez coursé des Blizzards élans. Euh, Pouvez-vous nous expliquer ou peut-être vous poser la question, comment se fait-il que vous aviez autant de succès avec ces machines avec des Olympiques et des élans au cours de ces années 70 et 71. Ça fait trop longtemps, je m'en rappelle plus. Mais j'essayais du mieux que je pouvais avec les équipements qu'on avait. On était équipés comme des millionnaires, mais on roulait comme des pauvres. Ça fait que Bombardier, c'est pas pauvre, mais ils nous ont vendu une partie parce qu'il pensait qu'il manquera d'argent. Je vous avais dit à Laurent Baudouin, si jamais t'en manques, appelle-moi pas. Euh, puis lui m'avait dit, ben si jamais, qu'est-ce que tu racontes aux autres un peu en dehors, viens donc me le dire à moi, avant de le dire aux autres que mes machines, c'est pas sûr que c'est des machines de course, c'est plutôt des étendeurs à cointationnaliers du rouleau. Fait que ça, c'était des petites années. Après ça, ça s'est amélioré. On avait du monde qui était comme au Stockholm chez Bombardier, puis tout ça. On avait la chance d'avoir euh, plus qu'un morceau, on en emmenait cinq. Mais euh, on en vendait deux, puis on cassait trois autres. Ça fait que... Il y avait M. Duval qui n'était pas gêné de nous en donner les morceaux. Il fallait lui demander une coupe de fois. Mais moi, il n'a jamais eu un cadeau de moins. Je tiens un cadeau pour lui. C'est pour ça qu'il même temps, il y avait rien que moi qui était ce point de aujourd'hui, puis t'en as invité une autre gang, ça fait que, sans me le dire. Ça fait que je t'en gêne un peu. Ça fait que ça, c'est un bout de ça. Puis euh, le restant, mais on, on a eu bien du fun. Puis tout ce monde-là a eu tout du fun aux courses. Everyone of you that race snowmobile, uh, whatever the branch is, they had fun at the time. And this Mr. Benoit, I think he raced a Yamaha one time. And we were nearly Chicago, a nice track there when we raced Friday night, Saturday, some two, three days. Me, I had a bombardier and I had those Kihin racing carburetor on it. And you were waiting for some to put on your Yamaha. And how come that I had some on my Rotax that you didn't have at the time? I told her, I said, I steal your order, so <laughs> that's why I got it. At the time, you know, I could remember there that uh, it was some kind of a, you know, little trick, little joke, right? So we were playing a lot of jokes, and uh, we were getting a lot of playing guys, you know, do tricks on our machine. That was the time. Fun, fun. That was what we were looking for. To win, well, if, if we start... 10 machine and it break 9, you could win. <laughs> so if we were waiting for that at the time. Yeah, thank you. Merci Lucien. J'ai une deuxième question à te poser. Je vais la poser en anglais parce que Snowgoer Magazine me demandait de vous la poser la question. Uh, Lucien, the X4R is a race machine that you were the most familiar with. Could you... Um, give us um, a few, um, uh, maybe tell us uh, how fast the machine went, uh, just give us the specs of the machine, 
and maybe a couple of uh, comments in regards to that machine. Well, I don't know if they chose me to race that machine because I was racing stock cars, but uh, that machine was a slow machine, heavy machine, and probably they didn't want me to get killed, so they gave me the slowest one. Uh, Yvonne had the two engine, and he was faster than me lots. So, you know, someone's had to do it. So, Bombardier to block some old day, I was there. And if they need to win races, like last class of 800, they called me back. You know, I was racing for Bombardier Quebec, but it's the same outfit. And uh, go to uh, go to Eagle River, do the last race of the 800. I said, how come? Well, you're winning in Quebec here. You could win in the state too. Well, I guess so. So I took my engine and I make like a suitcase out of it and I bring it to the plane between my leg and when went over there and they supply me a chassis of a 440, full titanium, aluminum, everything you could have light. And I put the engine in it. I had a good helper, a good mechanic. I don't know what, she, what the name was, but this, this man was older than me and he was a gentleman. So I had to be straight with him. That was a nice uh, weekend and I win that class there. If I would have had to be in the world, maybe you're gonna say, well, <laughs> maybe. Myself, I think I would have win it that day, that year. Because the guy I raced against them in uh, that class, that day, was fast guy too. And the slowest guy were on the world champ. That's my thinking. Thank you. Merci, euh, Lucien. Petite dernière question pour Lucien. Euh, Lucien, vous avez... Lucien, vous êtes propriétaire d'une un, motoneige de course avec un moteur 4 cylindres. Euh, il y a peu de monde qui connaissent cette machine. Il y a Wayne Roberts de Malone qui dit qu'on fait appliquer deux de ces machines. Euh, Pouvez-vous pouvez -vous nous, euh, nous dire... Qui sont ceux qui ont travaillé, qui ont fabriqué cette machine ou ont participé à la fa fabrication de cette machine et en quelle année? On that machine, really, I don't know work on it. I don't know anything about it. I bought it with a lot of parts from Bombardier. And uh, that's about it. That's a kind of an engine that uh, spins backward and the uh, clutch go by a shaft in the middle of the two to turn the right way to move ahead. And it's a rotary, and it's it was supposed to be replacing three-cylinder uh, piston port 650 uh, cc on it. I don't know how many cc it got, but I don't think it's over 650. And we didn't start it yet, but uh, I plan to retire a bit on my business, and uh, we're gonna get it running that engine because it's been running, but I never see it running, and I don't know any story about it. Thank you. The question in English was, uh, Lucien is the owner of a race machine that was built, I believe, maybe late 60s, 1970s, and it has a four-cylinder engine in it. And uh, that's the response that Yvonne just gave us. Sylvain, um, you're from the Eastern Townships, your family is from the Eastern Townships, and at a, at a very young age, you moved to the United States, either Vermont or New Hampshire, correct me, um, and you spent most of your childhood in the United States. You came back to Quebec, and I believe you started racing snowmobiles. Could you give us a little, um, a little history on how you started racing snowmobiles, and how Mr. Gaeta Chester Duval was instrumental, as well as Mr. Abel, in helping you race during the years that you raced oval racing. Um, well, I started racing in the early 80s, and uh, I had bought an old Sonic, Motor Ski Sonic, and I just decided to join uh, the Northeast Association. And I wanted to race so bad, there wasn't a question that was what I wanted to do. And uh, the first year when I started racing, I met Lanny and Wayne Nicholson. And um, 
I knew nothing about racing, and I was so far back, they thought I was first. <laughs> so, but it was learning experience. It was fun. Um, I made some great friends. Lanny and Wayne have been friends for years, and then um, the year after, I bought my first uh, real race lead. It was a single track Formula One with a limited horsepower motor, and. Um, I started racing, I, I did very good with that, and that's when uh, the summer after, that first year with that sled, I came in second at the World Series in Owen Sound, Ontario. And I remember Chester walking over, and I had the older, low horsepower motor. Yeah. And I remember he looked over and he saw my motor, and I, you always want to impress the skidoo boss, because he's the one you want to, you know. Anyway, so during the summer, I picked up the phone and I just, called up Skidoo Race Department <clears throat> and I got a hold of Chester and we've been racing together we've been friends ever since he's always helped me out he always encouraged me and it's been it's been great so excuse me Sylvain being, uh, being asked a question Sylvain um, en plus vous avez coursé pendant plusieurs années vous avez eu beaucoup de succès vous avez coursé sur le Val Et vous continuez toujours à faire de la course, mais dans la catégorie um, cross-country. Mm -hmm. Pouvez-vous m'expliquer, après tant d'années, où vous allez chercher la motivation et l'énergie pour continuer de courser cette fois-ci en, um, en cross-country? Bien, la motivation n'est pas dure à aller chercher parce que dans toute ma vie, il n'y a jamais eu d'autre chose quasiment que les courses de ski. C'est comme, euh, c'est une passion, il n'y a pas d'autre chose. Euh, les blondes ici, c'est à côté, c'est le temps des courses. Fait que c'est facile de continuer là-dedans. Puis c'est devenu mon emploi. Euh, je développe des kits de clutch, on développe des courroies, tout ça. C'est devenu mon emploi. Fait qu'en même temps, c'est sûr que euh, je vieillis, c'est sûr que je suis moins travaillant que j'étais à 20 ans. Mais encore là, il n'y a pas d'autre doute. Euh, C'est tellement agréable que tu ne peux pas faire d'autre chose que ça. Pardon? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the motivation to race has never been an issue. It's um, it's always been the only thing I've ever wanted to do in life. Uh, like I was saying, the girlfriends and all that, there was six months of the year, you get no time for nobody but yourself. You become very egocentric. It's all that counts. And, after a while, you it became my business, and so now today in cross country, it's not at the pro level, but at the same time, it's a very high level. It's um, it's easy to get motivated because if you get beat one weekend, I don't think anything gives you more motivation than having somebody beat you. It makes you want to work harder, you test harder, and it's just something that it, it's hard to explain, but it's very easy. It's not work for me. Thank you, Sylvain. Merci, Sylvain. Monsieur Imbo, Merci. Monsieur Essen, pouvez-vous vous avancer? On a le privilège d'avoir avec nous aussi Monsieur Claude Essen, qui a également fait de la course au cours des années, fin des années... 90 à 2002. Début des années 90, je crois. We also have Claude Essen with us, who uh, started in the 1990s, early 1990s, and went up to 2002 racing. Uh, donc, je vais vous demander de peut-être expliquer un peu votre carrière comme pilote de course. I'm going to ask him to give us a little feedback on how you got involved in racing. Bonjour, euh, merci pour l'événement. Puis, euh, je voulais, moi, je veux dire, à part de je vais compter un peu mon histoire. J'ai commencé à course en moto, moi, ça a été battu. Chester, il y avait une moto qui commanditait un des frères bourrés. C'est là qu'on s'est connus. Puis en 90, je faisais des courses de moto sur Atlas. En 89, 90, j'étais un peu tanné de ça. Puis les temps, ils m'ont fait une machine un plus 500. C'est là que ça a commencé. Si j'aurais pas eu 8 ans du bas, j'aurais jamais coursé en motoneige. Puis, euh, une assez belle carrière. En 97, j'ai gagné deux places au championnat du monde. J'ai coursé avec Wayne, avec Lani, avec euh, plein d'autres euh, très bons compétiteurs. J'ai commencé comme tout le monde. Je connaissais pas grand-chose. Marcel Limbo, c'était le gars de moteur. Puis mon petit gars des clubs, qui m'ont bien aidé. Puis après ça... Euh, on fait notre bout de chemin, on apprend, puis euh, je suis bien content de la carrière que j'ai eue avec ça. C'est à cause de Gaétan, ça a commencé. Je voulais dire merci. 
Uh, I speak English a little bit. I tell a little bit of a story. I'm a motorcycle racer uh, earlier before I raced in snowmobile and I started to race in 1990 because Gaetan Duval helped me and he sponsored me a machine for the season. And uh, Marcel Imbo and Yvon Petit helped me a lot to, to learn on a clutching and engine setup because I'm from motorcycle and I don't have many experience. I have a lot of oval experience but not on a snowmobile. And I had a pretty good season. In 1997, I went to class at Eagle River. And uh, I'm really happy about that. And I stopped the race in uh, 2002. The awful goes uh, lower and lower. And that's why I stopped the race. Thank you. Donc, on est fini. Et j'aimerais vous remercier d'être venu ici ce matin. Uh, we're finished. And I'd like, you very, I'd like to thank you very much for having come out. And I'd like to thank, especially, this guy here, Lucien Amorim, who I've become friends with, and it's his fourth year that he comes out, and uh, this guy's an amazing guy, he's got amazing stories, and he's got a memory like you can believe. So thank you also, Claude Ressin, Wayne Nicholson, Gaetan Chester Duval, we know why, Chester, 